I am Kendall Nelson. I am a senior upstream developer advocate at the Open Infrastructure Foundation. Thank you all for coming. Welcome to the event. So in order to build the next decade of Open Infra, we need a healthy collaboration-focused community. How better to focus on collaboration than to make connections with other open source communities to share knowledge and integrate with each other's projects? We started noticing patterns in reported usage years ago, centering around a stack making use of Kubernetes and Linux alongside OpenStack. Delving deeper, we discovered that many users prefer this top to bottom open source stack, and even better, that these communities started collaborating back then to ensure interoperability between our projects and communities today. This collaboration has resulted in a rich set of capabilities and integration patterns that a subset of our community recently collaborated on to better understand and publish. So a very special thank you to all who contributed and participated in this endeavor, including many of our members and other members of our open infrastructure community. We're very excited to share this exploration with you in the form of our Open Infrastructure Blueprint white paper. Please scan the QR code, check it out, share it with all your colleagues and followers. I'll be tweeting another link right after I get off stage here. Uh, Kubernetes and Linux are actually only two communities that we uh, collaborate with in a long list of other open source communities. Recently, we at the foundation learned of an open source database project that looks very promising and like an excellent scalable solution that is also highly available to meet OpenStack's needs. So since we all love data, <laughs> here is a glimpse of reported usage from our 2023 user survey. You can see that there's a variety of solutions, and many of them actually require additional plugins or support to make them usable at scale. So here today, we have Long Defang from Ant Group, a developer of the open source project OceanBase, to show us what it's all about. Hi, Kendall. Thanks for your introduction. I'm Longda. It's an honor to be here. As we all know, OpenStack is the most uh, deployed uh, open source cloud software in the world. At the same time, OceanBase is one open source distributed database for mission critical uh, load at any scale. We wish we can work together to provide our customer a win-win solution. Maybe many of us have no idea about OceanBase. Let me give a brief introduction. OceanBase is the only database uh, which breaks the world record in TPCC and uh, TPCH. In 2020, uh, OceanBase achieved uh, 707 million TPMC in TPCC benchmark. The score is 20 times than that of Oracle. It's the first time to run TPCC with a distributed database. In 2021, OceanBase obtained 15 million QPH in TPCH uh, at that time break the world record. Till now, there are more than 1,000 customers choose OceanBase among all of these customers. Uh, they are from financial, telecom, government, manufacturer, internet, and so on. Among of these users, and group is the biggest one. On 2019 Dub 11 Festival, the peak query per second is almost 61 million. The biggest database is more than six peta, petabyte. What's more, the RPO is zero, or TO is less than eight hours. From the OpenStack side, we can find the database as well. We almost uh, find the database uh, almost in every module. Database store metadata. Metadata is vital to a whole system. If the database crash, the system is hard to work. So 
how to provide seven by 24 hour uninterrupted service. Today, we were going to give a demo show to how to provide high availability and when node is done, at the same time, how to automatically recover. OK, let's log in the ocean-based dashboard to check the cluster status. Right now, air nodes are healthy. We can find out the observer's service. Then we check the talent. Uh, we will find out which, which zone is the primary zone. Because later we will delete the node, the part in the primary zone to check out the availability. There are two a proxy. Proxy is just used to routing the request. Okay. Before we delete uh, the part in the prime zone, okay, uh, we can check the OpenStack cluster status. We found everything is fine. The cluster are healthy. Before we go into delete the part, uh, we will disable Kubernetes auto recovery. Through disable auto recovery, we can check the high availability because the currently the cluster just uh, have two nodes, not three nodes. OK, we check the OpenStack status. We will create one UCS. OK, wait a minute. OK, the UCS has been successfully created. Now we enable the Kubernetes auto recovery. We check the status. We will find the server status has been changed. Uh, we f refresh the status. In fact, uh, it, it will take no more than eight seconds. We are re auto recovery. So let me summarize this demo. Ocean base keep strong, consistent by Paxos cons consensus protocol. If any node is done. Uh, the majority nodes are alive. The left node will take over everything. It's so cool to see how it just works. And it works fast. So to summarize a little bit what we saw, obviously, a node went down. Usually, without a distributed database, there would be some issue for the user. But that didn't happen. And having played with this myself, I know that it just works. It really is that easy. Um, there's so much potential here in a collaboration between the OpenStack community and OceanBase. And upcoming at the project team's gathering in October, we welcome any adjacent open source community like OceanBase, right? OceanBase is coming? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to attend this meeting. Next. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, OceanBase can do more for the OpenStack. Uh, if you, you are interested in, in this topic, please follow, follow my presentation in this afternoon at room 205. Next. Here is our Slack QR code. Welcome to our community. Anyone are welcome. Yeah. And in addition, we want to give a special thanks to Hongshin Sun at Ant Group and Michael Ness 
uh, <laughs> uh, at Stack HPC for helping with the demo today as well. Kamsamida.